Okay, hi everyone. As you see, I am processing these elderberries so that I can make a nice jam. I've already, this is my first batch. And like I said on my other, I don't know, did I mention it on my other video? I don't remember. But my first batch, which is this, um, this was the very, very first one. And what I did was I, um, I boiled the berries and then I added a little bit of distilled water and to add it a little bit, just enough to carry the, cover the berries. And then, um, I, I continued to simmer it for a good 30, for about 35 minutes to maybe 40 minutes. And then on a very low heat because you don't want to scorch the berries. And then I drained them. And then in the morning, I had them setting up overnight, but it, on the counter. And my, my place is pretty cool. So in the morning, there was a, a very thin layer of residue. And I, I thought it was, oh, that must be the sulfates, sulfites. But they're not. It was actually the yeast. The yeast that had, because the, all that white stuff that's on the berry is the yeast. Um, let me see if I can get some so I can show you. That's the berry. Okay, that white stuff is yeast. So, it's, um, and if you get <laughs> this beautiful yeasty berry, it'll make a nice wild yeast, um, starter. And um, makes it great for a wild yeast. Like uh, like ye wild yeast water is a great way to ferment. It's a fermentation that is used um, in um, making breads. And it's nice and it's lovely. So if you have that, grab it. <laughs> it's, I mean, and if you want to make a nice elderberry bread, you could do it out of this so okay so I think I have a few left and I think I'm gonna do that so okay um, so that's the first batch and this is a second batch which um, I uh, um, did um, make and um, let's see I don't know I think that might be a berry and see I still have a rich look at all that so I'm going to do it a third um, third time. <clears throat> so that's my second batch. And then I'll do it one more time after I rinse them. But then I'll probably use less water because I'm squeezing them. And this is all the, the nice. See, and I think I still have some. some um, I can still extract some uh, berry juice, elderberry juice out of that by just adding a little bit of water and simmering it for and this last batch this last time that I'm going to do it is probably going to be for a little bit longer and that'll be the third batch and if you want to mix them all together then you can and that'll stretch out but that's a lot of berry juice and I think half of this stuff is going to be frozen <laughs> because it's a lot I didn't realize that I I I um harvested nine pounds of elderberries. I had no idea <laughs> how much I harvested. I thought I only harvested enough for like eight pints and I was happy. But no, this is actually, now that I'm doing it, I realize that, oh yeah, I could do more. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, I hope you're, it's canning seasoning, uh, season. I'm, some people can all year, but for me, it's canning season because everything is so delicious right now and I hope you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend and enjoy it immensely. I'll be canning. <laughs>